Welcome back to Wheels Through Time. I hope you guys are having a great summer. We've been having an absolute blast on our Drive for History event, firing up historic machines, keeping history alive. Now, many of you guys know just how rare these machines are and how important it is for us to continue to tell the story of the American motorcycle. If you guys like to do your part, help keep us the museum that runs, check out driveforhistory.com. Now today we pulled out the big fish motorcycle. This week we've been highlighting oddities here at Wheels Through Time and uh, the big fish is just that. One of my favorite bikes here, it's a common visitor favorite. We fire it up all the time. I've li ridden literally thousands of miles next to this motorcycle and uh, it is quite a machine. Now the bike itself looks like an absolute tank and one of the first things you're drawn to on this bike is the rear end of the motorcycle. Now as many of you guys know, uh, right up through 1957, Harley Davidson's produced uh, exclusively rigid frame machines, at least in their big twin models. Uh, K models offered rear suspension, but all the Harley Davidson big bikes through 57 were rigid rear frames. The big fish, whole different deal. Now this bike was customized in the 1940s uh, by its first owner. And what he did was he added a swing arm uh, to the rear end. So made the bike track much, much better. Uh, geez, I bet he probably added a hundred pounds to the motorcycle, uh, but that really is uh, really neither here nor there. And I'll tell you about that here shortly. But the, 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 the rear suspension of this bike, it's got one shock and one spring set up, uh, kind of a double tube arrangement on the rear section. Uh, and it's just so incredibly well done. And what he was able to do was preserve the entire original rear fender. Uh, so as you can see, this bike remains an original paint as highly modified as it is. Uh, the bike is still an original paint machine. Now, this guy that, swing, that did the swing arm conversion, the fellow that did the swing arm conversion, he was an absolute motor guru. This machine is so freaking fast, you wouldn't know it by looking at it. Take first glance at this thing and you think it'd be slower than molasses, but this machine absolutely hauls the mail. It's incredible. Uh, started out as a 74 cubic inch FL knucklehead engine. This one's been stroked out to 80 plus cubic inches. We don't really know. We've never been inside the motor. So exactly what makes this motor so fast uh, really kind of remains to be seen. I've personally been itching to take it apart, but at the same time, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So a uh, big stroker knucklehead engine. Uh, it's got the M75 high performance linkered carburetor on it. So the M75 uh, really was a performance carb uh, for your standard knuckleheads. It was an aftermarket piece, or not an aftermarket, it was an accessory piece that you'd buy at a Harley Davidson dealership, uh, bolted onto your bike for added performance. Uh, really unique stuff. You put a three speed transmission in this. So, standard Harley Davidson four speed transmission during this era. Uh, three speeds, common, uh, the three speeds came with reverse. This is not a reverse transmission, uh, it's a three speed. Uh, one less shift is all I can imagine that this fellow was thinking. The bike is so quick. Uh, we've used it for road runs, uh, 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 reliability tours. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite things that, that I've been a part of uh, having to do with this motorcycle out at the Death Valley Road Run in Southern California, we jump onto the dry lake beds out there. We actually hold a drag race. Uh, this bike, uh, as I know it, is undefeated at the Death Valley drag races. So bike's been out there probably six or seven different times uh, and it's never been beat. Um, of course, my dad's the pilot. He's tough to beat no matter what he's riding. Uh, when he's on the big fish, he's absolutely unbeatable. So we're going to get this thing fired up. You guys can listen to it purr a little bit, and then we might even take it uh, out front for a couple hole shots. So got the fuel on. I'll choke it a couple times. Two. Three kicks and we should be one to go guys. So here we go.
lopey machine, big old cam in there. And uh, again, it's just super snappy, quick machine, ton of fun to ride. The bike doesn't want to do anything but go straight. This thing is not made for the curves. Um, let's get out in front and see if we can do some hole shots, guys. What do you think? All right. Many of you guys might be wondering why we call this thing the big fish. And I'll tell you what, when you drop the hammer on this bike, it's tough to even keep the rear end behind you. You get up, maybe going 35, 40 mile an hour under the, under the power, and the rear end, no joke, it wants to pass you. Thing's incredible.